So, TED Talks, ideas we're spreading. You know, TED Talks are great. There's so many ideas spreading our minds. But what makes me love TED Talks even more is the fact that they have the same name as my dad, Ted. <laughs> He's in the audience right now. Hi, Dad. He's probably so proud of me, but what makes him even more proud is when I wake him up at 10 o'clock at night because I'm stomping around right above his room upstairs because I'm cleaning. He loves that, and I love cleaning, so I guess it kind of equals out, right? My parents tell me that I have a problem. They say my obsessive cleaning is kind of like an addiction. So since I didn't want to be my parents' third problem child, I decided to try to put my problems behind me and look up the symptoms of addiction. So in my dark room, before pulling up the addiction page on Google at 1 in the morning, after cleaning my house five times that day, I was sure I showed no signs of addiction or that I even had a problem at all. But then I saw the first symptom, which was denial. People who have addictions have these things called interventions where their friends or family make them sit in a circle and they try to tell that person they have a problem. My dad has those for me all the time. He sits me down, his face gets all red, and before he says anything, I just start arguing with him. He also loves that, by the way. Then I saw the second symptom, which was social and our recreational sacrificers. I literally have no friends. I used to think it was everyone else's problem that they didn't like me. But then I realized, who'd want to hang out with someone who's only willing to watch TV if they can fold their laundry? The biggest red flag was maintenance of a good supply. Having 12 bottles of Pledge, a mop, broom, and a dustpan underneath my bed is not normal. <laughs> I remember when I used to think that families who only have one bottle of Pledge duster cleaner were crazy. But come to find out, I'm wrong about a lot of things. So what didn't make me the most mad was the fact that I had a problem. It was the fact that my parents were actually right for once in my life. <laughs> That's crazy, right? So it's been a long road to recovery, but I'm glad to say I'm finally there. I literally never clean now. I'm just pretty much a disgusting slob, but I'm proud to say I live an addiction-free life now. Thank you. <laughs>